new present for the evening. Brush from Amazon. Sweet. So you see what's in this. What I have here is a new antenna for this thing. Sorry, they, these little dinky bowfang antennas just won't do it. They're great, they, you know, they'll, they'll do stuff, but they just won't do great. So, what works good, you ask? Well, let's see if we can actually open this. That is, that right there is some awesome glue. Wow. I might have to get the knife for this one. There we go. So what kind of what kind of antenna can work great for that? Well a longer one would work. But how long? I mean that's like what six, five, six inches, you know, and different types and it's got to be portable well here you go check this out first time opening it haven't opened this kit before 42.5 inch antenna for the handheld this thing looked absolutely massive And I, I've been on the fence with, with buying it, and what I found, I, I wanted to get one with the BNC. So, oh, hey, that untwist. Hmm. I, I wanted to get one with with the BNC fitting, and I, they they're like like twenty dollars for for this length of one, and you know I, I wasn't too thrilled with that, so I broke down and I got the one for the Bofang and. You know, that's that's what all my connectors match up to. So, trying it out here, see how it fits. Looks like different spacers. Just have to. Question is, okay, so they're they're rubber, rubberized spacers. I take it they just go right on there. One for that, one for this. Oh, see how it fits. That's that's quite <laughs> massive. All right, now the the big part. Now, somebody did take this apart, and it, they said it's nothing more than than a tape measure, but it's still you know radiating radiating element. Once you unfold that, look at that. I don't even know if I have it in full frame. It's 42.5 inches. I mean, th this thing, this thing is massive. Like, you know, I, I wanted this antenna. So when I go to a ham fest, I, it looks like the, this, this ring here, lo looks like it's gonna be gonna wrap around this is just the radiating element here you go I, I wanted this ridiculously long element for the simple reason well it's gonna should perform better but I just want that effect that when when you're in the ham fast and you see this person walking around with a huge antenna you'd be like hey I know that guy this is the guy that did the review on this thing I mean it, it is it is long now it's flexible, so if you do knock it against something, it, it ain't gonna go anywhere. Um, have to get it in the in the shot. It, from from my desk to the ceiling, it is literally almost touching the ceiling, and you know. <laughs> this thing is quite massive. Um, let me get a repeater here that's kind of far away. Uh, let's see. 
MUM. KB3 ICU testing. Nah, I didn't figure that was going to work. That's a little bit of ways. Let's see, here we go. W3CWC. That's, uh, I don't know, about 20 miles or so. KB3 ICU testing. Look at that. That that's impressive. The, the, this is insane. I, I I'm you know. I, the only thing I'm concerned with is the the stress that it will put on the radio, but I don't think it will be that bad. Um, considering, my might, might do is just take both of those O rings and put it down here on the bottom. You know. I, I, I would definitely want to put get the um, get the one with the BNCs on it. I just feel like I, I've seen some reviews on it, uh, being that it's that they fit kind of loosely, so I wasn't too thrilled with seeing that. Let's see if there's a better way we can fit that. So there, there's about, I don't know, an eighth inch gap there. I don't know, we'll, we'll put them both underneath and see if that will close the gap. I imagine that's just going to compress them in. That's kind of pushing one out. Okay, so not the best of fit on this. I, I didn't bring the DMR in to see how that fit. Let's see, can we just fit it around here? Might be able to. Yeah, that'll, that'll be all right. Whoa, we got it nice and tight. So the question is, is gave you three ICU testing. Okay, so that's a, that's a little bit powerful. Um, <laughs> that was just the load coil. Let's get out the the VNA here and just do some quick tests to it here. Now this is dual band. So we're we're at like five to one on that. Let's go ahead and put the coil on here. Or not the coil, I'm sorry, the, the element. Oh look at that. One one point five two. That's about the best performing uh, the best SWR I have ever seen on a handheld antenna. All right, let, let's check. Let's check it up here. Um, let me grab my charger. I let go of that. Well, is it okay? Okay, so it, it definitely needs the radio ground grounding to get down, which that's expected. Okay, so let's set it up for the 440 portion here. Uh, we'll we'll do the full sweep of the band, four, four, uh, 420 to 450. Holding that. That's not too bad at all. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a bit high, but they, it could be the the amount of ground that I have, uh, considering that I'm just holding it here in my hand. Uh, I I gotta say it's probably gonna be lower. You know, if I put my hand on it here.
yeah it, it's going to come down it, it's right in about a 2 2.1 which you know I expected to be a little bit high let's let's go up to the GM rest portion and see yeah that, that's that's up there so it's really good for two meters um, really out there for 440 but I think it will do just fine once it gets on the radio itself but either way, what what can you say for a a forty two point five inch uh, dual pan antenna? Like it's awesome. You, you can collapse it down, fold it in, and it even comes with this nice little Velcro strap to store it. Look at that. That's that's quite cool. We'll give this a try. I only spent like 10 bucks on it. I figure that it's worth a gamble for 42 and a half inches long. Um, see, I don't know if that tip will come off. I don't want to destroy it, but yeah, I. I'll